opening their mouth and panting. Five eggs. Had invaded the nest. Or perhaps the eggs were blown from the nest by strong winds from the sea. 14 days. However, neither of these eggs are hatched. I began to be concerned for the eggs, but I also began to wonder if the behavior of bringing food to the nest is an instinct based on how much time has passed versus visual evidence of a hatchling being present. Later that day, the female brought new grass to the nest, as though it were building a new one. But there was already a nest, and two eggs. At the time, this behavior seemed strange to me. The male joins the female, and together, they share a quiet moment. Remember how I mentioned the female almost always stays on the nest during inclement weather? Later that day, the female reveals to us twins again. This one is too large for the youngest of the three. The older hatchling is happy to volunteer. Now all four eggs have hatched. If you watch closely, you can actually see the eaten food move slowly into the body cavity of the hatchling. Waste accumulation does not occur in the nest. The female removes it herself. Acres are better than one. A larva, moth, and worm all at once. Notice the trachea opening and closing. Hands out among the rest. This one is preparing to leave the nest the following day. When a juvenile robs its own initiative, or if it had help from its siblings, it lands safely in a plastic container with leftovers of an old box garden I had. The robin's senses are on high alert. Everything it's experiencing is brand new and a bit of a challenge. Juveniles often follow their parents around for the first few days until they learn how to get food on their own. This juvenile is in a strange place. It has left the nest, but there's more freedom to be had. The distance from the deck to the ground is greater than the distance from the nest to the deck. Time for a moment of reflection. There you go. Safe and sound in the soft grass below. The next juve... Whoops. This one has a lot more energy than the first and is ready to explore the world. Hmm, where should I go? In the next shot, it's actually our little robin up on the railing. Way to go!
What a big world out there. And a good headwind for a nice takeoff. It found some shade near this small birdhouse and spent about 30 minutes there. Like the first, 